Right, hello everyone. Right, this is uh, this just turned up sort of a couple of days ago, and just want to run through a couple of things for some of the people that have uh, gone from the club, um, just to sort of help them guys out because they said do. A couple of them said, can you do a video? on the stage by stage so basically what we got is your uh what what did i have to do so the first things are you'll get a bag of screws and there's some like long just two long screws that are for the wing and they go right down through the wing through the body there's loads of little marks on the body uh for the screws alignment holes but not all of them line up so i use like uh your body reamer to make fresh holes they weren't very far out um i started with four in the roof then went to the bonnet then went to the wings there's a couple of bits on the molding on the uh on the roll cage the framework that you cut off and you get three washers and another part that you don't use on this chassis i believe um, all these screws that go in the body are like uh, about an inch long in the bag and all that I've got left in the bag is some clips for these wiper blades um, some other short screws for these items there's no clips for these aerials though which was a bit weird there's no, they look like just one of them push clip washer things so there was none of them so I pull them on first, obviously I have to all be stripped off for when it comes to paint, right? So that's the body out of the way. Now for the rest of it, so I'll try and show you the rest of it. This is the important bit, really, because I've had this before. I changed out a radio on my fifth scale, and I forgot to... Um, just forgot all about resetting it up. Um, this is a bit of a pain to get off. I'm sure I'll get me around it eventually. So there we go, there's that out of the way. Right, so what we got is a 950kV motor in there, the Max 5. Um, I've got a Noble receiver, so the plans are so when you come to fit in the electrics this is the battery box now that f that will fit in the battery box if you take the lid off which you can do that i've opted to put it on top because then i can use this battery box to run a 2s lipo which i believe i'm going to take the live and maybe the earth from the ESC wire, which is channel two at the minute. Um, there, this one. So I'll take the live and the earth off that. I'm sure I can take the live and the earth, if not just the live and tape it over. So I'll pull the pin out of the plug, tape it over. So there'll be no power from the ESC going to the receiver. Um, I think I can do it like this, this is the plan. But anyways, for the moment, what I've done is I've wired it all up. Um, I've got my brake servo. I've got all the my steering servo yet, um, which you can either run two or bolt one in the middle. And there's a little bar through here that it shows you, you can cut out and you can run one in the middle. So that'll go like that. And that'll run in the middle. You have to measure all this up. Um, so the important thing is is you'll stick your bind pin in your, your radio to bind it and what i would suggest really is unplug the motor wires i don't but i suggest it um so basically you'll put the bind pin in switch your radio on um put the radio into i done it like this i put it into bind mode and then i switch the esc on and obviously the bind pin was already in, so it bound up straight away. So the next thing what you wanna do is instantly switch off your ESC, unplug your pin at your receiver, and then when you switch it back on, you wanna hold the set button down, which is that one, 
hold that down first and then switch it on and wait until it starts beeping fast. It won't be counting the cells in the LiPo, it'll be beeping fast and flashing. And then what you do, I believe on this one, it's neutral position first, so you'll hit the send button without touching your handset, then you'll go and it'll go beep. You pull the trigger in all the way, full throttle, hit it again, and it'll go beep, beep, then you release the trigger, you go full brakes and hit this again, and it'll do three beeps, and as soon as the three beeps are up, let go of the trigger, put the handset down, and then you'll hear it sound, uh, count the cells in the LiPo, which means it's armed. Now, you do not want this, and this is really why I've done the video, you've got it in your house somewhere, maybe you've put two 4S on it, so you've got 8S in it, but with that motor, an 8S or even 6S with that motor, if you haven't calibrated this to the new radio and this decides, it's like you only need to bump the handset in it. If that arms itself and it's not calibrated, you'll bump the, the, the radio, the throttle will come on, and I've had it before where I've had to pin the car down to get to the battery leads to unplug it, and it burnt it burnt the laminate flooring um put holes in it and it, it was quite a fight so um that's why really <laughs> you'll make sure you've calibrated it but also you can always leave the wires unplugged on the motor to do all that um and then you know it's calibrated properly switch it all off and that's that's just something i wanted to say the so you've got that screws wise in the manual it doesn't really tell you where the screws um where they go and what's for what so there was a bag that seems to be the bag for fitting the body to the cage and all the bits that fit onto the body were in that same bag as well and there may be a couple of extras there's another bag um there's another bag I've got. I have opened it. I don't know what I took out of it, to be fair. I think I took some bolts for this, the motor mount. There was two bolts I took out for the motor mount. And there may be some other spare ones in there. It looks like you've got... See, these These have three ball bearings in rather than a dog bone. So it's more like a, a real car CVD with the ball bearings in it. Um, so I've got a lot of screws left over for mounting on the accessories because I haven't screwed on the wing mirrors or roof vents and all that but that, that's it really so that the plan in the future like I'm saying is to run a 2S LiPo in there the 2S LiPo will go to um where was I going to put it in? I can't remember how I was going to get the 2S LiPo onto that. I'll have to go on to the, the other end. How was I going to do that? I spoke about this earlier and I <laughs> to someone and I can't remember how I said I was going to do it. Because obviously I've got Channel three, uh, channel 4 for the fan on the, the motor. Channel 3 is... Um, for my brakes, I'm going to run channel 3 and do a mix for the brakes. So the, if I flick a switch, I'm going to have me forward and reverse on. But I don't want to use reverse as brakes. So how it's going to happen is I flick the switch and all I'm going to have is forwards. And when I hit brakes, all I'm going to get is with the switch activated, this servo is going to work. But there'll be no end point. You'll be zero end point on, on the brakes or reverse. So the motor won't be doing any braking or any reversing. Um, when I flick it the other way, channel three will be off. And then I'll get reverse and, and normal brakes. Because that'll save my battery. Slowing this heavy car down, I can use the disc brakes. But the plan was to run 8.4 into this from oh i think that's why i was going to do it was cut cut these 
cut the life in the earth that feeds that's on here well no I'll probably pull the pins out of the ESC plug then I'll get another live enough from this kind of plug and put them in there and that wire will lead to the the lipo so then that 8.4 2s will feed the receiver 8.4 volts luckily enough this receiver says it takes 3.5 to 12 volts I'm hoping that's right so that'll go in there and it will power my servos only so I'll have a, that's why I've put this on top so I've got a battery in there feeding my servos on their own so I'll have a 2S LiPo for my, for my, my steering servo which should make it good it'll stop the drawing the current from the other batteries um, I've made one of these up whether I use it I could do with another one but I mean if you can imagine having two 4S there and then another two four s there but then what you need is you need one of these made up make sure you do this right because i nearly blew up an esc by doing it wrong so i got these two plugs on i went to heat sink the heat sink was on it because that one was already on and it, it it shrunk the heat sink so i had to unsolder this end when I unsoldered it, I had this in a pair of pliers up the right way, but the cable span over and I picked up the other cable and just soldered it on in a rush. So when I plugged these two 4S into my ESC to run 4S, that's 4S, but it's two 4S giving me 1,200. Um, yeah, six thousand. yeah. Right, is that even right? 12,000, isn't it? 12,000. <laughs> Can't even do my maths today. Right, anyway, so basically you up, it doubles the milliamp power and the C rating, but it doesn't do the voltage. So I've still got 4S there, so it'll give me a longer run time. So if I do two plugs like that, I'm gonna get 8S and and use four batteries in one, one run. <laughs> But hey ho, that's that. That's if I run 8S. I'm thinking seriously of just running 2.6S and run with this plug. Um, and with 2.6S on that plug and the loop, I'll, I'll only be running 6S, but I'll get more milliamp hours. So that's it, really. That's, that's where I'm at. I've got to order a servo for the steering and screw this in and sort a, a lead out and a plug from a lipo that's going to power up my uh i'll have to cut one of these plugs down and leave the live and an earth off of it and send that to the battery to power up the power is going to go in on channel two just like it would and then it'll feed all my servos from there off of the other battery rather than these. Anyway, that's it. I'll let you guys get on. And there's there's like a little update about the screws because it was a, a bit of a confusion with all the screws, basically. Love the motor mount. So anyway, I may not have had it for the video. It's an MCD Rally XR. So... Uh, looking forward to it and there's going to be a few of them so it should be interesting i'm building a new track for them as well so yeah it should be good anyway thanks a lot for watching and yeah i hope that was clear for you guys that um asked about an update on what's what but that was the key thing so see you all later